pressure control. High, low, low. This is the middle. I think that's right. Let's see. Not many people ever saw the inside of that office. And the ones that had weren't around very long to talk about it. This area is where a mill manager would run his operations. He spent most of his time looking down over the industrial area from his office. I've researched that an accident here halted all production in the mines for a time. I suggest you keep searching for anything that might be related. More accidents. People disappearing after being led into a mysterious room. Everything in this town was just bad news. I hope I was supposed to do that. This kind of seems like a wall up here, so I think I'm going to start searching here and then continue on. Pinwheel Village. Okay. Oh, that felt strange. What did... Well, I guess I am walking around in your mind, so that probably is going to feel strange. It's not really a natural... Thing. So, sorry about that. I'm really sorry for asking, but I thought I'd left them there. It's okay. I don't even know what they are, so, you know, not gonna hold it against you. Do you think it's safe? It's so tall. Well, the way things have been run in this town previously, no, I don't think this one is safe. Normally, they're a little bit safe. I mean, you follow regulations, but, I mean, it's like anything. Everything's a little bit dangerous. Except when you're in this town, apparently everything's really, really dangerous. <sighs> right, though, it is tall. There's another memory fragment. <sighs> Let's hear what other horrible things Phyllis has to say. How she can insult us and complain about her job and how her job is so difficult. Alright, let's hear it, Phyllis. You know, in the last three years of experimentation, I've worked with some very good restorers. Yet... None of them had the heart or the mind to get as far as you. I hope that you succeed where the others have failed. Our chances of continued funding rely on this. You won't let me down now, will you? Flattery is going to get you nowhere, first of all, Phyllis. Second of all, I'm doing the best I can. And it's not for you, it's not for your funding. I want to help Jean. Phyllis just makes everything about her. Oh no, we're gonna lose funding. Oh no, this and that. And oh, I need better restores. Yeah. Mm hmm. I think I see where this is going. You don't sound too happy about that. My guess is this is gonna end in another disaster. I wish your life had been happier, Jean. You deserved it. Well, I mean, I guess I don't really know <laughs> what you've done in your life, but you seem nice, so. Reminder, wash bed sheets today. So, great reminder. Okay, before we move on, can we just look at that paper? Now, look at all that writing. It definitely says more than wash bed sheets today. 
okay? But apparently we feel that uh, that is the only relevant information. And I seriously doubt that. There's like a little diagram on there and everything. Okay, you know what, whatever. <laughs> it would seem that these doors are finally getting unlocked. Okay. So, down, down, up, middle, middle. Gotcha. I don't know how I feel about turning on the arsenic pressure or whatever. I don't know. This could just go horribly wrong. Okay, down, down, up, middle, middle. Let's hope this works. It's not going to get any better. This isn't going to get any easier for anyone. It says here that arsenic was a very useful byproduct of the tin refining process and is still used in many medicines and foods. The miners ground and burnt out any unwanted materials and then exported it for money. But in these quantities, it was extremely lethal. Accidents here were often fatal. Let's find out what happened here. This is horrible. This town just can't get a break from the tragedies. Five resolutions per hour. Life is slower and easier. The savings could be spent on our retirement or living comfortably. It's not just me. That's loud, isn't it? I mean, it's a bit noisy here, but I mean, I guess it's like a tin refinery or something. It's a mill. Where apparently they did tin refining, I don't know. Hammer. I'm going to assume someone borrowed my hammer with the intention of returning it. I expect it to be here when I get returned from the mines. I guess it's supposed to be when I return from the mines. I guess they were in a hurry to get to the mines and misspoke. Brimcliff Mine. Captains assigned to the mining operation. Captain Nick B. Fathom 380. Sean or Sheen or whatever. V. 400. Chris R. 420. Jake R. 480. All miners working in Brimcliff Mine should report to their respective captains and all miners related to the Fathom assigned. Okay. We went through here. When we were... When we were dreaming or whatever. We were dragged through here and thrown off the balcony in that direction. Ooh, that just made this creepy. Let's see what's in here first. Holiday. Warden, I'd like to ask for a day's paid holiday this coming May 1st so I can spend the holiday off with my family. I promise, if need be, to work extra shifts later on in the week to make up for any lost time. This is the first holiday that I have requested in two years and would greatly appreciate it if I could have it authorized. Sean V. That's sweet. He wanted to be with his family. With how the, this place has been run previously, I doubt he got the paid vacation, but, you know, it was nice to ask. Mining Warden Secretary. Checklist. Daily. Make coffee and place on desk ready for him. He doesn't like to wait. Sweep pooled water into drains by door. This is an absolute joke. This week. Routine locker search. Arrange appointment for Sheen V with the mining warden for dis disciplinary action. Arrange performance reviews for miners. Put coffee cleaning tablets in different bottle. Miners confusing them with arsenic. Check with mill management about shipment completions state 
restock miners dry kitchen, empty arsenic disposal. Wow. Okay, so this secretary is l practically running the place. And the manager sounds like a jerk, sort of. Just by how she's written about him. Her little side notes about him. And I'm wondering what Sean did. I'm wondering if that was just from asking for the vacation that now he's getting disciplined for it. Because that would suck. Also, if your coffee tablets or whatever look like arsenic and you're worried about that, you know, keep them in a different bottle. Like, clearly label things. Because I'm wondering if... Let's read this again. Coffee cleaning tablets in different bottle. Yeah, so I'm guessing that they were either throwing the coffee cleaning tablets away or they were putting it into the machine. I have no clue. But that just sounds very dangerous. To summarize this episode, we found out that there might have been another accident and that this one might have happened at the mill. We learned that the secretary doesn't really like her boss and she's kind of gotten like little smart aleck comments on her to-do list about it. We also found out that there are locker searches and um, performance reviews and people were complaining about how the boss was kind of being really unfair. So I don't know how that's going to play into things. We found out that people who go into the boss's office didn't last long. And I don't really know what they mean by last long. I don't know if that means they just disappeared or if they got fired. Not real sure. Also, Phyllis tries to flatter us and, I don't know, convince us that we're doing the right thing or something. I don't know. And another thing, we found out that they had coffee tablets that looked like arsenic tablets, and the miners were getting confused, and that's just really dangerous. Like, clearly label things. I don't know if they were, like, taking the coffee tablets and put putting it in the arsenic machine or whatever, I have no clue, but that's just really, really dangerous. That pretty much summarizes this episode. I hope you had a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye